Hi, it's Rod, and this is my Jesus Wants to Crucify Me vision. Well, the vision was like me standing up to a cross with my hands like this, and Jesus is next to me with a hammer and one of these big spikes or something, and he is saying, will you let me crucify you, Rod? And I'm starting to think how painful it's going to be. Then I start thinking about how much I love and trust Jesus and thinking about how he did it for me. He was crucified for me. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'll, I'll let you crucify me, Jesus. Then it turns into sort of like an Abraham story where Jesus decides not to nail my hand. He says, uh, that was just a love test fraud and you passed it. And so, like the Bible talks about, uh, Paul talking about, I've been crucified. There's no longer I live, it's Christ who lives through me. In Galatians 2.20, or the Bible says in Galatians 5, verse 16, if we walk in the power of God's Spirit, we will not let the sinful flesh nature live in us. That's how we uh, are crucified daily, or are letting our sinful flesh nature be crucified daily. Jesus won't force us to uh, allow him to put our sinful flesh nature to death in us, to crucify it. We gotta wanna allow him to. It's like he can't live through us unless we die first, unless we let him put us to death first through the cross. If we love Jesus, we want to obey Jesus. We want to let him live through us. It's like it says in the Bible that uh, if we do anything in the flesh, it profits nothing. Like Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing good or successful. But like Paul said, with Christ doing it through me, I can do all things successfully. So the successful Christian life is about letting Jesus live through us, not us. It's about letting the power of the Holy Spirit, the life of Jesus, crucify our sinful flesh nature so that we don't allow it to live, but we allow him to live through us instead. Sort of like we have to ask Jesus, uh, what do you want to do now, Jesus? Get an answer back and then be willing to say yes to him, no to our flesh nature, which is, would not be his will to do. Let our sinful flesh nature be crucified. Let our sinful flesh nature be put to death in us. And then let him live through us. And he'll probably want to do things that are difficult and suffering in this world, like going to a cross or something. But it's the best thing we can do. Let's have a great loving relationship with Jesus. Understand that he did it for us. Will we do it for him? We love Jesus because he first loved us. No greater love than Jesus dying on the cross for us. I had been getting glimpses of this vision before I had it tonight. I just kept seeing a cross and Jesus saying, uh, will you die for me or on a cross or something? I'm thinking, would I die on the cross for Jesus? And uh, it was put into more clarity through a vision tonight that... Uh, I pass the desk, I said yes, Dave stuff. So it's not just being put on a real cross, that may happen someday, but uh, it's putting our flesh on the cross. It's saying, not my will, your will be done. Not to live like the rest of the world just for the selfish flesh nature, which profits nothing, but to live for the Holy Spirit living through us, which profits everything, which God greatly rewards in heaven and gives great careers in heaven. <laughs> Or his bride that allows him to do his good works out through us. So he saves us on the cross. He does the good works through us. We really don't take a lot of credit, but we just let him do it through us. Let him save us and let him put our sinful flesh nature to death in us. Let him crucify our flesh and let him do good loving things out through us. Like try to make truth teachings or pray for people or help motive they need trouble or something. Let, just 
what do you want to do, Jesus? You get the thoughts, you get the power, and you start doing it. That's the Christian life, walking in the Spirit, not the flesh. So that's a bit about my Jesus wants to crucify me vision.